Hello everyone, today we will cover using the Arctic Wolves open source log for shell detection script. Before watching this webinar, we strongly recommend watching the December 16, Understanding the Log4j vulnerability webinar. So here's our agenda. We will talk about uh, the new vulnerability CVE 2021-45046. Arctic Wolves open source log for shell detection script. And then uh, John from the S2 team will show us, you know, how to run this script. So um, this vulnerable to CVE 2021 um, 45046 initially detected on December 14 with the DOS vulnerability uh, and CVSS score was 3.7, which was a low from the severity point of view. And then on December 17, this vulnerability has been upgraded to a remote code execution vulnerability and that kind of increased the severity rating to nine, which made it critical. So Arctic Wolf successfully deployed to Arctic Wolf's customer community. Uh, and then on December 17, we made log 4 shell deep scanning uh, to publicly available on GitHub. So uh, log 4 shell deep scanning enables to take both uh, CVE 2021-45046, as well as the previous vulnerability, which was uh, CVE 2021-44-228. So with, uh, within the NEST jar files, as well as the WAR and ears files. So this script conducts a deep scanning of a, a host file to identify Java application and uh, libraries with the vulnerable to uh, log4j code. And um, then it identifies uh, the existing of the you know, impacted log4j code. This script will flag uh, it and output its location within the host file system. So this script can be run both uh, Windows and Linux devices. Today, John will show us uh, shortly how we can run it in Windows devices. So please note that no information is collected by or sent to Arctic Wolf. If you would like to know more about this open source log 4 shell detection script, please read our Arctic Wolf release open source log 4 shell uh, detection script blog post. With that, I'll hand it over to John and uh, he will show us how to run this script. Team here to walk you through using the new log 4 shell scan tool that was created by Arctic Wolf. Uh, we'll begin by downloading the zip file here from our Arctic Wolf GitHub page. Uh, you can go ahead into the log4 shell directory um, and the releases, and we have a zip file right here. You can go ahead and click that and download the file. Um, once you have it downloaded, you can go ahead and open it in the folder, and you can begin to extract the file. Um, I've actually gone ahead and done that already uh, for the purposes of the demo, so I won't actually go through with it here. Uh, you can then go ahead and go into the directory. Um, and in here, you can see we have a couple scripts as well as a readme file. Um, you can begin by opening up the readme file in whichever text editor that you're using. Um, I have Notepad++, so I'm going to go ahead and open that now. In the readme file, it'll contain information about the script, um, the results you can expect, um, as well as some usage instructions. So we're going to go down here to the Windows section, since I'll be running this on my Windows host. Um, you can see uh, specifically the requirements, and as well as that, you have some notes on how to run it, as well as some sample commands. Um, so to begin, we're going to open a command prompt as administrator. So I'm going to go ahead, make sure I run it as administrator go. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and go into the directory that I have my script located at. Right, give me one sec. We'll go in there. Oops. 
Sorry about that, and we'll type it. And we'll go into the log shell directory. And just to make sure I'm in the right place, looks good. I can see the script. So now I will go ahead and run the PowerShell command here, which should be all you need. Um, there are some additional commands here if you'd like to specify specific options, uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and run it as a default. So I'll run that now. Now the script does take a couple minutes uh, to run through and it may be longer depending on how big of a host you're scanning. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause here as this runs in the background for us. Uh, the script is finished and uh, for the purposes of this demo, um, I've actually run this on a host that does have a vulnerable version of log4j. Um, you can see right here um, that the script has told me that I've failed, uh, specifically that this specific jar file is vulnerable. So uh, that is the output that you'll see in the command uh, prompt. And additionally, you'll see um, a JSON file created. Um, and that JSON file will have um, additional information. Um, so this was from an earlier run that I did, um, as well as showing a bunch of different jar files that were hit upon during the scan. Um, and so you can reference that JSON file for additional information and, and to use that uh, to keep track of all the different hosts you may run this on. And uh, that completes our walkthrough for the log4 shell uh, deep scan script created by Arctic Wolf. Thanks, John. I really appreciate it. And thank you for joining us today. And we will see you next time.